I'm Kay, and I'm a late bloomer. The local paper heard I was converting my landscaping to a vegetable garden, and they came out and photographed me with my first cauliflower. Cauliflower, like broccoli and cabbage, is what I call a one-shot vegetable, which means you get one vegetable from one seedling. So if cost is a factor, plant from seeds. But if you're impatient like me, you start with a seedling. Since my yard is small, the sun was low in the sky, and my parkway had the best sun, that's where I planted them all five of them. I thought these wire wickets would be a clever way to keep the dogs at bay. One cauliflower was hit with aphids. Because my garden is organic, I tried washing them off with water, but it was too late. Now I was down to four. If you reach in here and you attempt to bend back one of these leaves to see what might be hiding, hopefully a beautiful cauliflower, and you break one of these leaves, they're very tender, very easy to break, so be careful. One morning you walk out and it looks like this, and the next morning you walk out and this is staring back at you. It's a lot of leaves. See if we can clean it up a little bit so you can see what it looks like. All these leaves can go in my compost. Mmm, smells like cauliflower. Oh, that thing weighs three pounds. You could use that for weights. Yesterday I harvested another beauty. Hey, I got an idea. Between an early February heat wave, the leaves look like lace, and a hungry cutworm? I was lucky to get half a cauliflower out of this plant. One reason I did this series was because of all the interest I've had from my neighbors. Almost every day, someone walks by and checks on my progress. This is my greatest success story, a beautiful cauliflower, which is quite large. at least six inches across. And I plan to harvest that tonight for dinner. Why should you eat more cauliflower? Mm. Higher intakes of vitamin C and linoleic acid, combined with lower intakes of fats and carbohydrates, are linked to a lower likelihood of wrinkles and dry skin. And it tastes great. especially when you grow your own. What a lovely bouquet.